Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your non-working CH340 cable work with your Rattel RT8080 radio. If you've seen my previous video about this radio, you'd know that I recommended a $2 CH340 cable. And that's because at the time of making the video, there were no official cables for sale on AliExpress. I received mine today and as it turns out, it didn't work right away. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix it. As of now, you can purchase the official cable from AliExpress and that will work without any modifications. So I'll be leaving a link to the official Rattle store for the cable and the RT8080. If you want to buy it from the Rattle website, I'll also leave you a link for that. And if you use the code TAC, you'll also receive a 10% discount for buying this radio and the cable. And now let's get started. So after I received the cable, I tried for a few hours to make it work by installing different drivers and reinstalling Windows and nothing worked. After that, I watched Andreas' video on how he made his own CH340 cable that actually worked with his UV98 radio. I then decided to open up my cable and see if the wire colors matched. And as it turned out, the two data wires were inverted. So in order to fix this, you have two options. One of them is to open the USB-A plug. So for that, you're going to need a screwdriver or a knife. And you're just going to pry it open like so. So the problem is that the white wire should be for TXD and green wire should be for RxD. You don't want to touch the red wire or the black wire as those are for power. So if you have a soldering iron and you know how to do it, it's probably easier to just do this and unsolder the wires and uh, invert them. However, in my case, I don't have one. And if you don't have one either, don't worry. There's an easy fix. All you'll need is a pair of scissors or a knife and some duct tape. Now I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Now I do know how to solder, however I don't have a soldering iron and it was almost night time and I didn't have time to go out and buy one and I wanted to finish up so I can install the latest firmware and do a video on that. So if you guys want to see it, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the bell notification icon so you'll see when I upload it but hopefully it's going to be later today or tomorrow the latest. So what I'm going to do now is cut the cable. And now I'm going to use a knife to strip the cable so I'll have access to the four wires inside. And all I'm using for this fix is this multi-tool that I bought off AliExpress for I think like $12. And it's a copy of the Leatherman Wave. However, it's not a replica because Leatherman actually lost the patent to this type of multi-tool. So now other manufacturers are making it. And uh, this one is surprisingly high quality. Um, I'll be leaving a link to it pin in the comments. But um, the Leatherman Wave cost, I think, over $120 or $150. And just the belt clip alone cost over $15, which is more than I paid for this entire multi-tool that comes with a belt clip. So yeah, highly recommend it. And uh, now I've got access to the four cables. So I'm going to pull this back a bit further and then I'm going to strip the wires. I'm also going to strip the other half of the cable. So I'll have access to the other four wires. And by the way, the reason why I'm so clumsy is because I'm actually doing this through the screen of the camera that I'm using for recording this video. And uh, now I'm going to strip the four wires. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same to the other cable. And 
And now I'm going to use a bit of shrink tube. However, if you don't have this, you can just use some duct tape. So I'm going to cut this into four small pieces for each wire. And now I'm going to put a piece of shrink tube on each of the four wires. And if you have some slightly bigger shrink tube, now's the time to also put it on your cable. If not, you can just put some duct tape after you finish tying the four wires together. So now I'm going to start tying the wires. So uh, black goes to black. And please make sure you don't make a mistake here because if you accidentally tie the black or red wire to a different one, you might actually destroy a radio. And now I'm going to slide the shrink tube over it to make sure that none of the wires make uh, contact with each other. And now you need to connect your red wire to the other red wire. Again, please make sure you don't make a mistake here. And same thing after you finish, you slide the shrink tube over it. And now you'll connect the white wire to the green wire. And the remaining green wire to the white wire. After you finish, make sure you slide the shrink tubes over each wire and make sure none of them are making contact with each other. And now for the last step, I'm just going to grab a lighter and I'm going to use it on the shrink tubes. But yeah, after you finish with the shrink tubes, the cable should work. If you want to finish it up, you can put some duct tape or again, if you add some shrink tube, larger size, you should have put it on the cable before this step. Okay, now your cable should work. And by the way, guys, disclaimer, I'm not an engineer. So please do this at your own risk. Also, hopefully today or tomorrow, I'm going to be posting a new video of the latest firmware for the RT8080 with working spectrum and APRS. So if you guys want to see that, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment, click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.